Hello and welcome. We are in LA and this is the brand new RSQ8, the absolute highlight of the RS initiative in 2019 and a prime example for our RS philosophy, which means you get both the sportiest and most exciting SUV from Audi and at the same time maximum comfort and everyday usability. We have an 8-cylinder with 4-liter TFSI, 600 horsepower and 800 newton meters of torque. You can go from 0 to 100 km per hour in only 3.8 seconds and we reach a top speed of 305 km per hour. And by the way, this is the fastest SUV at the legendary Nordschleife racetrack, also known as the Green Hell. But how did we manage the Nordschleife in only 7 minutes and 42 seconds? This is faster than a lot of sports cars. Every RS model is designed and tested by our dedicated engineers and our professional race drivers. For optimal performance, you just have to activate one of the two RS modes by pushing the button directly on the steering wheel. Together with our partner Audi of America, we will roll out the greatest high performance portfolio in history. Next year, we will launch the RS6, the RS7, the R8 and the RSQ8. The RSQ8 comes with the same 48 volt mild hybrid system that we successfully introduced with the RS6 and RS7. Before I uh, explain the RSQ8 specific elements, I would like to say a few words um, in advance to the Q8 in general. And I would like to start with the roof architecture. The roof architecture is quite unique on the Q8 because we have frameless doors, this is coupe style, and uh, we have a quite chopped roof. And this chopped roof starts already on the A post and then stays quite horizontal until the um, rear end, rear passenger seats. And then to get sportiness, we put a quite fast C post against it. And the special thing about it, it's outstanding in the segment, so quite iconic. You can re clearly recognize the Q8 from 100 meters away and it combines in a perfect way functionality with sportiness. And of course this re recipe we kept for the RS Q8, but we found a few elements which um, exaggerate uh, actually this thing and emphasize that this is the uh, RSQ8 now, the top of the line model. And there I just want to pronounce these, these wheels. Optional, we will have 23 inch wheels on this car and this is just amazing. This is for us designers like a show car actually. And uh, what, what comes on top, the track on the front is 10 mil wider and on the rear 5 mil wider. So the stance of the RSQ8 is just outstanding as well. Uh, another thing which is specific on the RSQ8 is, here you can see now the version with full body color, but it's also possible to get the RSQ8 with a contrast paint. Then the rocker is painted in contrast color and these wheel lips here stay in body color. And this is also specific for the RSQ8. Okay, on the rear end, three things are very, very important on the RSQ8. First, I would like to emphasize the um, diffuser area, which is very, very big, very large. And what you see clearly here are the exhaust pipes, which are typical RS. These oval um, exhausts um, stand out for our, for our RS models and they are clearly visible. This is uh, the main element. The second element actually is this area here, where you can see these slots under the lights. And um, these slots are a little bit familiar with our RS4 and RS5 models um, where these slots are beside the rear lights and here they are under the rear lights. And this detail is a little bit a link to our past, to our famous IMSA GTO race car out of the 80s. Um, and obviously they emphasize the width of the car and from 100 meters away you will clearly see the RSQ8. Um, the last detail, which is important on the rear end, is uh, the spoiler, which is extending the roof and has this typical RS wave. And also this is clearly visible as a RS sign. 
Already the standard face form from the Q8 is quite characterful because we have this huge octagon single frame, we have this black mask, we have this characterful light architecture and this makes already the standard face quite expressive. But of course the RS Q8 is even bolder and this has a reason. We made the grille slightly wider um, and this fits perfect to our RS model and we left um, this chrome frame around the grille and we kept out of the car. And this is a, has a reason because from the design we follow the strategy that our RS models are a little bit uh, motorsport linked uh, and they are designed more pure. And actually this fits also to the RS6, R7 where you can find the same design language basically. Um, what we kept actually is the honeycomb grille which is a little bit rougher and which is um, including the sensors we need for the driver assistance systems. So in general, a quite prominent grille which sticks out and is special compared to the standard Q8. Um, through the mask, um, we emphasize the side air intakes um, because they are surrounded by body color and they are very, very uh, big because we need actually the air which goes through it and they are pronounced. And uh, in general, this face is very expressive and shows clearly this is our SQ8. If we're talking about the RS Q8, we're talking about the top spearhead of the total RS portfolio. This car combinates the perfect design of an SUV coupe with the everyday suitability of an SUV and the driving performance of a real RS model. So if we talk about the design of this car, design follows function. So we have widened wheel arches, we have big air intakes in the front, we have a rear top spoiler and of course we have a big diffuser. So, this car is not just for the everyday use, but it's also for the performance use. That means we have the big V8 engine with 600 horsepower and 800 newton meter. This is combined with an RS specific sport suspension, a Quattro sport drivetrain, and of course an electromechanical rolling stabilization. All that means that this car, despite its size, can be moved really fast. Regarding the everyday suitability, there are three main items to be considered. First, the RSQ8 features an all-wheel steering. Second, it's also equipped with an RS-specific air suspension. And third, it is also possible with these items and the Quattro Sport drivetrain to drive 305 kilometers maximum.
die ganze Zeit in der Westen und Nord gelebt. Für den Southwall? Ich hätte die ganze Zeit in der Westen.